Hi friends, Tony DeWitt here, Missouri Appellate Attorney and a guy who likes to make the law make sense on YouTube. Here's what we're discussing today. Yesterday, the jury took a trip in the Adam Montgomery murder case. And here is the judge explaining why that happened. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to begin this case with a view. We will be traveling to several locations within the city of Manchester to observe certain areas you will be hearing testimony about. The purpose of the view is to make the testimony you will hear more understandable. If you have the opportunity to look at a scene, the testimony may make more sense to you. Your obligation on the view is to look as carefully as you can and to remember what you see as well as you can. You may not ask questions. You may not take any notes or measurements. You should look carefully at what the lawyers will be pointing out to you. What you see on the view is evidence in this case. Please stay as close together as possible so that you will all be viewing the scene from approximately the same perspective. If you cannot hear or see, please call that to my attention or to the attention of one of our court officers. After the view is completed, you may not revisit the scenes on your own during trial. Also, you may not engage in any discussion among yourselves or with anyone else concerning what you see at the view. As you know, you are not to talk with each other or with anyone else about the case until the end of the trial when you are conducting your deliberations. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, counsel will have the opportunity to make their preview statements to you concerning what they expect you will be seeing on the view. So the prosecution and the defense had an opportunity then to point out things that they thought they might see and what that evidence meant in terms of their preview of basically what they considered to be the crime scenes in this case. Why did that happen? Well, I suspect in large part it happened because much like the viewing in the Murdaugh case led to a conviction there, here the state hopes that it will help the jurors reach a verdict here. And normally, I think when you go and you view a crime scene, that tends to help the state more than the defendant but that may not be the case in this particular matter. Now, to set the stage for those of you who may not be familiar with the facts of the case, Adam Montgomery and his wife Kayla were living with Harmony Montgomery and two other children in their car. And the reason they were living in their car is because they were homeless, and the reason they were homeless is because they were addicts. Both of them had significant drug problems, and it, it's although it's difficult to understand exactly how this happened, there apparently was a hearing in a court, in family court, where Adam Montgomery was granted custody of Harmony over the mom. It was the mom, whose name is Crystal Sorry, who actually reported her missing and finally pushed the police to do some investigation, and that's when they learned what happened to Harmony Montgomery. But the, the problem there is that it's been two years since the murder. When police did their investigation, of course, one of the first things they do is they separate the two adults. When they separate the two adults, Adam denies everything, says nothing happened. Kayla says that Adam beat Harmony to death. Now, she says the reason that he did that was because she had accidents in the car and that that really upset him, and as a result, he did that. And then this occurred in New Hampshire, and it's very cold up there, so they would move her body into snowbanks and conceal it because they didn't want anybody to know that the child had died. Eventually, Adam rented a truck and disposed of the body, and that body has never been found. So one of the reasons why you do a crime scene view where you see all where all of these people were and, and the sites that are going to be mentioned by the testimony in the trial, the reason you're going to see all of that, the jury is going to see all of that, is because it will help them sort of get a visual picture of what went on. Now, one thing I have to say about 
the, this particular kind of case where you have addicts. Addicts always place the addiction in front of everything else. The reason they're living in a car is because they spend their money on drugs. And the reason they spend their money on the drugs is because the drugs are the most important thing in their life. Not the kids that are living in the car with them. Usually not even food. Usually what's most important is that next fix. So and allowing somebody who is an addict and a career criminal to take custody of the child seems like a pretty bad judicial decision, but that's what happened. Shortly before the jury left to do their view of the site, they held a separate hearing where Adam Montgomery appeared remotely from the jail and said, I want to plead guilty to abusing a corpse and tampering with evidence. You admit to each and every element of the offense of falsifying physical evidence and abuse of corpse. Is that yeah. accurate? Okay. And did you, yeah. did you speak with your lawyers in detail about that? Yes, I did. And uh, have you reviewed the opening statement in which they will tell that to the jurors? Yes, I did. And um, do you wish for them to acknowledge your guilt on both of those charges, falsifying physical evidence and abuse of corpse? Yes. And do you understand that it would be the state's obligation to prove each and every element of those offenses beyond a reasonable doubt before the jury could find you guilty? Do you understand that? Yes. And that by uh, agreeing to allow them to acknowledge this in opening statements, uh, the, the jurors can find you guilty of those two offenses uh, relying yes. on that information. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, and that is what you wish to do? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any further question about that? No, I do not. All right. Uh, anything further that the state requests? It's further the state request we assume that the court would take that into account decision whether or not he's making a knowing, intelligent, voluntary waiver of um, uh, essentially proofing his facts and proceeding this way, which I'm sure the court will do. Okay. Um, so anything you want to add, Attorney Smith? Not on that issue. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Montgomery, having heard from you that you've discussed this with your lawyers, that you've reviewed the opening statements, uh, the draft of the opening statement, that you acknowledge that you understand that the burden of proof is on the state to prove uh, each of those offenses beyond a reasonable doubt, and that it understanding uh, that it is your desire for them to proceed with that strategy. The court does find that this is a knowing, intelligent, and voluntary waiver uh, of your rights, and will allow them to proceed on that basis. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he's now come forward and said, "Yes, I." tampered with physical evidence, and I abused a corpse. The only reason that they would want to do that, the only reason they'd want to admit those, what I would call somewhat inconsequential crimes, because if you're facing second-degree murder, you're facing a long time in prison, so the amount of, uh, the, the two additional crimes probably don't amount to a great deal of additional time for you, and they'll probably be run concurrently anyway. The reason that they are doing this is to set up some kind of additional defense for Adam Montgomery. Now, I don't know what that defense may be. It may be that, you know, uh, Kayla Montgomery lied and I didn't have anything to do with it. It was all Kayla. Kayla strangled the child or whatever else. And the only reason that I took any action on the, you know, on, on the body and getting rid of the body was in order to, you know, keep my wife from having to go to prison. He could do that. He could argue, well, you know, it was uh, it was a mistake. Um, I, I didn't mean to hit her. I didn't mean to hit her so hard. I was just trying to discipline her. I, I you know, I got over my skis. Whatever. He may assert that it was an accident. He may assert that she got into their drugs and and ingested drugs and and died as a result of that. And again, it was a tragic accident. It didn't have any intent to cause the child's death. All of these things are possible things for him to argue. And of course, there's no way to disprove the fact that, you know, or I shouldn't say fact, uh, 
There is no way to disprove the assertion that she died from drugs or that, you know, his wife strangled her or that, you know, she was hit with cosmic rays. There's no body. Because there's no body and no body has ever been found, you can't autopsy something that doesn't exist. So they're not going to have any evidence really to rebut whatever it is that he says actually happened. And I guess we'll have to wait for trial to kind of figure out what that is. Although I suspect the defense will give a preview of that when they do their opening statement. This has the potential to be an interesting trial. It could present a wide range of issues. So if, if you're familiar with this case and you have questions or there's something you'd like me to address, please either leave a comment down below or email me directly at the address above. I appreciate everybody who has commented. I appreciate all of the thoughts. Uh, there certainly seems to be some dispute uh, on the crumbly verdict. There are a lot of people who thought she should have been acquitted. It, that is an interesting view, and I do think that in some respects there's evidence to support that view. So, again, I appreciate all of the comments, and I, again, appreciate the fact that you find this content interesting or helpful. Today, as you go about your business, if you have the opportunity to help someone, to do a kindness for someone, take that opportunity. It will make your whole day better. That's what I have for you, so thanks for watching, and catch me down here at the beach again next time. If you like this video, here are a few others you might try, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a terrific day, guys.